so in today's session we will be discussing how to use excel sheet to get the information which we want to validate on a web page <coughs> and for that we have to use a library called poi library now what is this poi library it is a apache library if i go to the google.com and i write download poi okay. you will get multiple links from where you can download it download poi like here i am getting the uh, link from where i can download it download poi i have already downloaded you do not have to do it on your system first of all just watch it and understand it do not do this on your system okay when i when i say that do this thing on your system then only do that thing okay other things you just understand it okay so like here i have downloaded this pui here and i have these 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 jar files available with me okay now what like we have this is our project in our project we have added this selenium server 4.12 dot jar so what we had done we had downloaded this jar file from selenium dot dev and we have added this jar file in our project then only i will able to perform the selenium library features i can use it similarly if i want to connect to the excel sheet using the java application i need to import this poi library and when i download this poi library and extract it i will get these number of the jar files which i need to add to my project so what i will do i will select my project folder selenium project right click on my project folder and then i will go to the build path then configure build path then select the class path here in the library select the class path add external jar go to the location where you have extracted this py press control and select all the jar files okay open and these jar files will be added apply and close so it means what we have done we have added the dependency these are called dependencies we have added the dependencies of jar files in our project okay now i will come to my page dot java in this page dot java in this page dot java we have created this methods open browser one time which are reusable <coughs> close browser one time which were reusable so similarly i will create one method which is reusable method to open the connection with a excel workbook so for that i will write a method this is my user defined method public void say open workbook connection so like we have written open browser method to open the browser similarly i am writing 
open workbook connection to open the connection with a workbook. What is the workbook? Excel sheets is, a, is called workbook. Okay. So now I have to write some code to open the connection with a workbook. For that, we have to register the driver. Like here, what we are doing? New Chrome driver was using Chrome driver to establish the connection with the Chrome. Similarly, I need to have a driver. Driver means chalane wala, which runs like car driver, runs the car. Similarly, Excel driver will run the Excel. Okay. That driver information I am getting from this PUI library. In this PUI, you see over here, only for the understanding, I am just showing you. You do not have to do it on your system. Here in SQL sheet, if I open this SQL sheet, I am getting this package, com.googlecode.sql sheet. Again, when I click on it, I am getting this driver class. So this is a driver which is used to drive the Excel workbook. So we need to register this driver class. So I will write in this, I will write one code class dot for name. And inside class dot for name, I will write form dot Google code dot SQL sheet dot driver. This is the path we have written form dot Google code dot SQL sheet dot driver. What it is doing? It is registering your driver. You have to throw the exception. After that, I am creating one global variable. Like here, we have created the global variable web driver driver is equal to null. Similarly, I will create a global variable public connection con is equals to null. Again, this is the connection coming from Java. The connection is the interface. From Java dot SQL package. Like web driver is the interface we already discussed. Web driver is the interface which is coming from this org dot open dot selenium. Similarly, connection is the interface coming from java.sql. So we have to import this java.sql. This java.sql is called JDBC, Java Database Connectivity, JDBC library. Java.sql package, like java.util package, there is a package in the Java by the name of SQL, which is used to connect to the Oracle, MySQL, SQL Server, Access, Excel, any of the RDBMS. So there are many RDB, RDBMS, Relational Database Management System, like DB2 is there, Point Base is there, Oracle is there, MySQL is there, SQL Server is there, or Excel is there, Access is there. These are all databases basically, you know. So, for that, Java is given a specific library called Java.sql library, which is called JDBC library, Java Database Connectivity. If you want to connect a Java application with Oracle or MySQL, then we will be using this library. And concept is same. Like if I want to connect to the Excel, then here I will not use Excel driver. Then I will use the, sorry, if I want to connect to Oracle here, then I will not use this Excel driver, then I will use the Oracle driver. If I want to connect to the MySQL, 
then I will use MySQL driver. So every RDBMS has its own driver. But as a test engineer, we will be using Excel only because uh, in test in writing our and executing our test cases, generally we use Excel only. We do do not use Oracle or MySQL or Point Base or DB2 etc. Because these are the uh, these are the complete RDBMS which is majorly used by the developers to write their development code. As a test engineer, we will not be using the uh, using Oracle etc. Okay, but the concept is same. That is instead of here writing this driver, we will be using the Oracle driver or some other driver. Okay, understood. And now connection is object pawn which we have created. Now what I am writing pawn is equals to driver manager dot get connection. Okay. So in this we will be writing driver manager again is a class coming from SQL package get connection is a method which returns the connection object okay. get connection is a method of driver manager class which returns this connection object inside this we write jdbc colon xlsx sorry xls colon 5 that is jdbc colon xls is the extension of the file uh, excel file colon file and the location of the file where is file located say take example i am using one demonstrative excel say student here So this is my workbook. This is my Excel workbook. What is the name of this workbook? Student. I have saved it by the extension of XLSX. You can check it from here. So I think you know how to create Excel. So no problem in that. You can go to the properties. The extension is XLSX. So this is a Excel workbook. By the I have saved by the name of student. And I have this sheet sheet number one sheet number two plus sheet number three and in sheet there is a row and column format data row number one will be the column name like here name and age are the column names here row number one is a column name like uid pwd are the column name okay and data comes from row number two a b c x y z are the data this is column number one this is column number two so it means what we are saying we are saying that this is row number one row number two row number three like that and this is column number one column number two so data starts from this so this will be treated as a row number one and this will be treated as a column number one column number two so that this is this is the data is stored in the excel and what is the first step if I want to read the data from this Excel or write the data in this Excel, we have to connect to this student. We have to connect to this student.xls file. So now what is the location of this student or D student? So I will write what is the file location? File location is D and inside D name of the file student.xlsx student.xlsx so this is the syntax two line syntax class dot for name will register the driver and driver manager is a class get connection is a method which will establish the connection with this file student.xlsx JDBC and return the connection of two line code. But now here is there is one problem. The problem is that if another day I want to use this another file responsive one dot xlsx, then what I have to do? I have to change the path for path over here. 
again someday i want to use some another excel then again i have to change the path over here then it is better to take it as a input to the method instead of hard coding it this is hard coded every time when i run the program it will connect to this file only so but i but i can pass different different excel file in different different time so i will remove it from here and instead of it i will take the input to the method that is a string workbook name like this and i can write plus workbook name so whatever the input i will send send me i will send over here it will connect to that particular work now like here we were passing the two input browser url so similarly i am passing the input workbook name now again in workbook i can connect to sheet number 1 i can connect to sheet number 2 or i can connect to sheet number 3 so i have to also pass this information which sheet you want to connect to sheet 1 or sheet 2 so again i can pass it as a okay uh, uh, okay let us leave it over here sheet 2 i will not pass i will pass the sheet 2 in some another random method so i'll just pass because i'm just making the connection with the workbook okay so i will not use the sheet name over here i just use the workbook okay so this is the first method which we have decided which we have defined another method we will be defining is public void close workbook connection string no need to pass a string okay like we were opening the browser we are closing the browser similarly when we are opening the connection with a workbook we have to close the workbook connection also so for that we'll like here we are using driver dot quit driver was global variable similarly con is a global variable we'll just use con dot commit and con dot close and throw the exception commit means whatever changes we have made made to the workbook so it will store it in a permanent basis and close will close the connection so two methods we have defined open workbook connection and close workbook connection understood now so we have defined it inside the page dot java so again i will go to my test cases right click on the test case create a new java class like insert demo i will create a dot class by the name of say insert demo main method finish like i was extending page similarly i will again extends page import the page create our own method public void insert data and then in insert data what i can do i can call this method open workbook connection like i was calling open browser open workbook connection and inside that like i was passing chrome and url here i will pass the workbook name so what is my workbook name again d path i have to give complete path here to give and then name of the file student.xlsx throw the exception so now this method will be called and we will pass the information workbook name 
and it will connect to that particular work okay when we are passing the information so so we have to pass the complete path of the file after that i am writing one more line the statement stm is equals to con dot create statement like this for that again we have to import java dot sql dot star connection like we were using driver dot in our previous programs we have we are we are inheriting the page and we were just writing driver dot similarly we are inheriting the page and with inheritance con object will also be inherited here we have created this con as a global variable so i can use con dot con dot okay so con is coming from this page page dot con and create a statement is a method of connection which returns a statement object what is the statement a statement to insert or select so i will write stm dot execute update insert into sheet one now if you see this is my sheet one so i will write insert into like in uh, you must have done some anna basic sql queries same sql queries insert into table name select from table name update table name instead of table name we will be using the sheet name sheet one or you can use a sheet whatever the, the sheet name is there so i am writing insert into sheet one insert into sheet one what values you want to insert column name name and age these are the column names name and age within the brackets name comma age values simple sql query jaise normally hum logo ne likhte hain oracle wagaira ke sath mysql ke sath same sql query the okay insert into sheet 1 name comma age values now this is a string so we have to write within single quotes string or characters type of data will be written within single quotes say uh, quarter comma age say age 16 so insert into sheet 1 uh, name comma age values quarter and age comma 16 uske baad then what you have to do you have to close the connection close workbook connection after insertion which is compulsory you have to close this connection otherwise it will not insert one more thing you have to understand is keep excel closed while inserting data that is if your excel is open on your system if this is open then it will not insert the data you have to close it if it is open 
in your system and you are running the program then it will give you the error okay so it should be closed while inserting the data i will write a comment so that we will come to know that it is inserted system dot out dot print ln insert it. let us try to run and check insert demo it is saying inserted let us now open and check it again sheet number 1 porter we have inserted sheet number 1 porter and 16 is inserted okay now in the same program if i say this is again hard coded you see this is a important thing to understand one more thing this is our program should be generalized okay generalized thing can be customized but if i write a hard coded thing it will very it will be very difficult to customize it like here if i written in my insert demo d colon student dot xlsx and when i mail you this example on your system maybe this student dot xls you are keeping it in e location or some another location f location then what you have to do you then your program will not run because here in my program i have written d colon student dot dot xlsx but on your system it may be some another location so you have to make the changes to to make this program runnable what you have to do you have to make the changes to this location then only it will run then it so it means it is not a it it has become hard coded so what we can do one more approach that is in my project here instead of keeping anywhere like here here i am keeping in d drive maybe you are keeping in f drive you are keeping in some another location so instead of keeping it in different locations it is better to keep your excel file in your project only so what i will do i will make one more package in src in src like we have created this core package test cases package i will create one more package right click new package and let us give it a name any name you can give like i give them name as excel and finish like we in our in a uh, previous examples if you see we have created a package xpath also in which we were storing all the external xpath Okay. Similarly, we have created this Excel package, and now you can keep this file, student dot xls file. Copy करा मैंने. Copy and paste in this location. So it means now, whatever your project is, it will remain inside your project. Okay. Now, now what I can do in my page dot Java. i can write a string workbook path is equals to system dot get property user dot dir double slash src so i have created one variable workbook path and in workbook path i have written this line system dot get property user dot dir 
so what what this line will do uh, this and as user dot dir it will automatically take the path of your project whatever whatever the path of your project is like here if i right click over here uh, go to the properties uh, properties this is the path of your project resources this is the path of your project c user parak saxena eclipse workspace selenium project this is the path of your project so what it will do it will automatically take this path whatever the path it of this particular project and now you can make a path from here that is inside this project there is a src src inside src there is a excel so i will write excel also excel so inside src there is a excel and inside excel this is workbook name whatever the workbook name is so you will keep it over here so there can be multiple workbook so you can in our project you we are using three four workbook so we can copy and paste all the workbook over here so now this path will be fix for every system but like ab now you do not have to worry that i have to change this path here you have to just give the file name you do not have to give d colon or f colon or e colon or anything you have to just give the name of the file so now when you are running it on your system you are not worried to change this path you have to just just give the name of the file you have to just give the name of the file because path it will automatically take from here okay my understood this much hello hello okay so it path it is automatically taking from here so so we need to not worry about it so path will be taking from here it will take the path up to this thing. so it is better if we make it like this so we are taking the workbook name only and path is fixed okay so let's try to do it again so i am now what we have done system that's get property src excel workbook name and then we are connecting to this not workbook name we will be connecting to this workbook path so instead of workbook name i will write over here workbook path so jdbc colon xls colon file and the workbook path workbook path this is the workbook path it will take let us try to make one change instead of porter porter i'll write say spider man again i will run it insert now if you want to check whether it is inserted or not now you have to go to this excel not this one not this one this is a this is a different this is a d colon student we have to go to this one student.xlsx so for that you can just go to the properties right click and from the properties you will get the location click and go to the location and now you can open and check it sheet number 1 spider man 23 has been inserted okay now another example i will show to select the data so again i will go to the test cases right click on a test cases create a new class majorly we have to perform as a test engineer we have to perform the simple operations like is like like we have to select the data from the excel which we want to verify on a web page and after verification we have to insert the data back with the result whether it is verified pass or fail that is a simple two operations we have to do so hence this poi library supports only these two operations that is insert and select we cannot write complex sql queries like we are as a developer we write join queries है ना प्राइमरी की फॉरन की और और है ना अपडेट डाटा दिस टाइप ऑफ द क्यूरीज विल नॉट रन ओनली सिंपल इंसर्ट एंड सेलेक्ट क्यूरी विल रन ओके सो आई एम शोइंग अनदर एग्जांपल ऑफ सेलेक्ट
will select demo again i will create one method say public void select data to select the data again we require the connection with the workbook so hence extends page and i can copy from here open workbook connection the statement will remain same okay so now what we have done open workbook connection will connection open and state now instead of creating the insert query now i will create the select query so statement method is execute query select star from sheet 1 like this so when we are using insert we will use execute update and when we are selecting we will use execute query select star means all the record from sheet number now execute update return type is int int which tells number of the records inserted int but here the return type is result set result set so i have to store this in result set so whatever the result is coming it will store in this result set object so it means if i again open the sheet these are the results result means abc not name and age name or name and age will not be selected first as i already told you first column first row is treated as a column name so column name will not be retrieved it will retrieve the data from abc okay so all select star from sheet 1 will retrieve this data and store it in result set result set now we will be using this loop while rs dot next while rs dot next means it will go to the next record next record next record while means jab tak records hain keep on moving to the next record until records are available while rs dot next rs dot will keep the will move the record pointer to the next 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 record while rs dot next and then okay now here column number 1 column number 2 so rs dot next will move the pointer to the record and then from that record get the column number 1 column number 2 then again rs dot next will take the pointer to the next record and then column number 1 column number 2 so while rs dot next will keep the pointer moving from one record to another record and inside that particular record column number 1 column number 2 in that way it will keep on getting the data which we can print
that is n and a. So we print this. Way. It means it is retrieving the data back. Inserting the data, retrieving the data. For retrieving, if it is a string type of the data, we write get a string. If it is a int type of the data, we write get int. If it is a double or float, we can also write rs dot get double get float. select demo so, I, we have not constructed it It is selecting the reports. Selecting the reports. Yeah. So simple SQL queries you have written. Page dot Java. I think you have understood what how to open the connection, close the connection, insert data, and select data. With select also, it is better, not compulsory, but it is better if you close the connection after the work is performed but with insertion it is compulsory with selection it is not compulsory but it is better if you close it and similarly when we are selecting the data then it is not necessary to close it you can open you, you can keep this file as an open file or you can also close it no problem but it is better if you keep it as a closed file when executing your program like again if I run it like here I have closed my excel then also it will select the data no problem okay so keep it as a keep it closed that is a better thing now coming to one important thing as I told you do not try to do this on your system do not download any this jar files on your system now what is the problem for for downloading these jar files the problem with downloading these jar files like i have downloaded selenium jar i have downloaded these jar files is that is that that, that is this makes my project local dependent local dependent means if I want to transfer this project to some another laptop then these files are coming from my local D Lenovo D D Lenovo D these files are coming from my local system when I take my project to another location these files will not be available then again I have to download these files or copy these files and I have to remove these files and again rebuild re my project with a new location that is the first problem the second problem is I cannot make this project centralized when I am working in a team so I told you that this is a this is a project I am making on my local machine Sim some other person want to use my this project files or he want to add his project file in this project then this is how will you do it so you said mail me or you will mail you I will mail you and then he will copy and paste it is not a right approach because you will face many problems here I am using JDK 17 maybe on his machine he is using JDK 10 or 8 then compatibility issue will be there version issues will be there I am using selenium say in a version and a uh, this one 4.12 maybe he is using 3.65 version compatibility is there okay 
तो अब है ना और मे बी आई एम यूजिंग द पैकेज बाय द नेम ऑफ कोर ही इज यूजिंग सम अनदर पैकेज मे बी आई एम यूजिंग द क्लास बाय द नेम ऑफ पेज डॉट जावा ही इज यूजिंग सम अनदर क्लास नेम देन हाउ विल तो इट विल इट इज इट तो 10 पीपल इन अ इन अ टीम एवरी पर्सन इज हैविंग हिज हिज ओन लैपटॉप एवरी पर्सन इज राइटिंग हिज कोड अकॉर्डिंग टू हिज ओन लैपटॉप हिज ओन पैकेज नेम हिज ओन वर्जन हिज ओन समथिंग देन हाउ विल यू इंटीग्रेट ऑल द थिंग्स टुगेदर तो आवर प्रोजेक्ट शुड बी अपलोडेड ऑन अ रिपोजिटरी सेंट्रलाइज रिपोजिटरी वी आर देर इज अ कॉमन फीचर्स कॉमन वर्जन कॉमन 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 प्रोजेक्ट स्ट्रक्चर सो डेट एवरी पर्सन इज यूजिंग दैट कॉमन थिंग नॉट डिफरेंट थिंग्स तो आई कैन नॉट दिस आई कैन नॉट अपलोड दिस प्रोजेक्ट ऑल्सो बिकॉज वेन आई अपलोड दिस प्रोजेक्ट फिजिकल जार फाइल्स कैन नॉट बी अपलोडेड गेट अप रिपोजिटरी डज नॉट सपोर्ट टू अपलोड दिस जार फाइल्स जार फाइल्स आर नॉट अपलोडेड physically hence to uh, and one more last important problem you will face is sir from where to download these jar files it is very difficult to locate these jar files where to get these jar files from and when we will when we will proceed with our uh, uh, this and uh, a project then what will happen i have to create a report file i have to create this and a log file i have to take the screenshot i have to mail mail the report for that we require many jar files because selenium jar file does not support excel connectivity so hence we have to download additional jar files selenium jar file does not support screenshot selenium jar file does not support report generation selenium jar file does not support and a log generation for all these things we have to separately download log 4j jar supporting extent report jar file supporting mail jar file so there are many jar files which we have to download and add to our project that is it is a very complex process from where to download which version to download etc etc so hence better approach is to create a maven project now this is this is a java project simple java project this project which we were working on selenium project was a simple java project now instead of creating this simple java project now we will create a maven project maven project is also a java project but the advantage with the maven project is that is you do not have to physically download the jar file and you do not have to physically add the jar file to our project like we are doing we have to do in our simple java project and this makes maven project portable we can upload it on a github repository we can transfer it from one machine to another machine in a easier way and we do not have to worry about the downloading from where to download these jar files hence when you do practice on your system you should do the practice by creating the maven project only okay so now what is the maven how how uh, maven project i think you have understood now how to create a maven project go to your file go to your new and then you will get the option in below the java project up till now i was creating this java project now don't create the java project simple create the maven project here you will get this option maven project click on this maven project then it is compulsory to click create a simple maven project here create a simple maven project then next then give the name of your maven project whatever name you want to give like here we were giving the names the first letter should be capital so like i can give the name as uh, rakesh only rakesh maven give any name whatever the name you are giving just copy it and paste it in artifact id same name paste it inside the name also same name description any description you can give we do not have to fill anything inside the parent project Parent project will remain empty. 
it will remain empty only you have to fill the information in artifact do not fill anything inside the group id artifact id version of parent project and whatever the name you are giving to the group id same name should be of artifact id same name should be of name and just click on finish simple here it will build your project here in below it will take some time few minute few seconds time to build your project over here and when the build is complete over 100% is coming completed then you will get this rakesh marble like this this is the this is the structure like here in this project i was getting src only one src here i will get this structure like this on some now this is important to note on some systems there is a error while creating a maven project and some student complained to me sir on our system we are not able to create a maven project it is giving some error and when the pro or when the project is created i am not getting these directories src main java src main resources src test java src test resources i am not getting these files then what is the solution if on your system you are creating a maven project and there is a error in creating the project or if this directory structure is not coming then what is the solution the solution is select this project folder it will be created by error also it will create okay select this project folder right click on this project folder go to the uh, maven here you will get a maven go to this maven and in maven select update project here select update project here this this you have to done only when there is a error in creating a maven project and then select this offline and select this force update of this project and click on okay okay and after clicking on okay it will update your project okay again repeating it select this folder right click on this folder go to this maven kaha uh, chala gaya maven and update project select offline select force update click on okay and it will update and after update important thing delete this project okay iske andar iske andar you will not find uh, because this is a uh, error project na so it will uh, no no uh, uh, need to work on it again you have to delete this project and create the new project again same process you have to follow again and in next time you will get the project same structure okay so it means what i am trying to tell you is that if you are not able to create a maven project on your system and it is giving you the error or you are not able to find the directory directory structure like that then only you have to do this process that is you have to right click on this project go to the maven update project then delete this project and after deleting recreate the project again and in the next attempt second attempt you will get this structure okay understood now you will find this file pom.xml file open this pom.xml file in uh, when you open this pom.xml maybe the, it is it will open in this here like this then click on this file over here pom.xml maybe when you double click on it it will open in this format but i want in this format so click on last 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 option pom.xml file click on it you will get this structure below the description here below the description add one tag dependencies and enter so below the description we have to enter this tag dependencies opening of the dependencies 
closing of the dependencies now go to your browser and go to this website mvnrepository.com this is the website mavenrepository.com mvn repository.com you can also google it mvn repository you will get the link mvn repository.com in search just search selenium like this selenium and search you will get this selenium java click on it you will get the version like here 4.12.1 select version and you will get a xml code just copy the xml code and paste it in between your dependencies paste it in between it and save it when you save it it will build your project and it will automatically add this selenium jar file on your in your project that is now you do not have to download any jar file when i save it it will build it here it is building and it will add here you see marvin dependencies has been added and inside this marvin dependencies these jar files are automatically added to my project now again i want to add the poi so select poi click here in search write poi and then again search you will get apache poi over here click on this apache poi again now you have to go to this version now this version is specific you have to select 3.17 version only other version will not work okay click on 3.17 then again copy and paste below that ending of this dependency add one more dependency like this and when you save it it will again build and add the dependency like this again similarly because we have to add uh, two three in a pui jar files first we have added is apache pui another is apache pui oo xml this is also required so again i will click on it same version 3.17 again copy below the dependency you have added paste and simultaneously save it so that if there is an error in adding the dependency you will come to know so simultaneously keep on saving it again i will go back this i have added first second i have added third also we have to add that is o xml schemas three we have to add again same version 3.17 same copy paste and then we have to add one last that is sql sheet click sql sheet sql sheet one word search select uh, let us copy 6.7 only click sql sheet 6.7 again copy paste see okay so now what we have done we have just copied and pasted the dependencies from mvn repository and it will automatically be added to my project like if you see i am opening mvn dependencies and here you can check 
PUI has been added. This one. PUI 3.17.jar. PUI OOXML 3.17. PUI OOXML schemas 3.17.jar. And like here. SQL sheet 6.17.jar. All the jar files has been added. Same jar files we have added before in my Java project here. Physically, I have added PUI, OOXML, OLS schema, SQL sheet. But here I was downloading the jar file and then I was externally adding them to my project. But here, what is the advantage? I am not externally downloading it. Instead of that, we have just created a Marvin project and in my Marvin project, we have added the dependencies. So, this will make my work easier. And one more advantage is wherever I will take this project and build it again. So it will automatically add those dependencies and I can also upload this project on a GitHub repository. That will do in, up in our upcoming classes. Just a second. Okay, so now this is the, so what we have done, we have done, we have created a Marvin project. How we have created it, we have discussed this thing. And if there is a problem in creating a Marvin project, what is the solution? That also we, I have discussed with you. Then next step is adding the dependencies. What is the meaning of dependency? How to add it? That also we have done. Now, next thing, do not work on this SRC. One more important thing, what people do? they start working inside this SRC. Like here we were working inside this SRC. We were working inside this SRC. But here we will not work on this SRC. What we will be working on? We will be working on this SRC test Java. So if you see there are, these are package. There are the four package given. SRC main Java, SRC main resources, SRC test Java, SRC test resources. Now this SRC main Java, SRC main resources are used by the developers to write a development code. As a test engineer, when we are writing our program to do the testing, so we will be writing our code in this SRC test Java and SRC test resources. So we will be using these two folders for the testing, SRC test Java, SRC test resources. These two SRC main Java and SRC main resources we will not be using. These are used by the developers. Okay. So now in SRC test Java, I am right clicking and again creating a package, same package core like we have created. In SRC test Java, again I am right clicking and uh, creating a new package say test cases same thing like we have done over here for test cases and one more say excel right click new package excel same thing like here we are creating in src here we will be creating in src test java here we will be creating our package and program is same I will copy this page.java from my previous project here copy and I will paste it over here same same page.java which I was using similarly I will use this excel I will copy it from here control C and I will paste it in this excel same thing similarly I will copy my test cases here like select demo or insert demo again I will copy from here same thing I can paste it over. so you can directly write in your in this Marvin project when you are doing the practice on your system do not create uh, this JDBC when uh, uh, external jar files do the practice by using this Marvin only and you can write the program directly over here and also we can 
right previous examples also over here selenium like we have done add to cart example or some alert demo example i can i can run all those examples which we have done before in a maven project i can just copy from here copy and just paste it inside these test cases so now this is the practical approach we should be following maven project not this approach this was a this was the approach when we do not know about the maven so we have used this approach so we so you have understood this thing now same thing we have done over here maven project created a package core same program page.java which we have done add to the cart which we have done before now if i run it from the maven same program nothing nothing difference in writing the program but here was advantage is that we are writing inside the pm.xml and not externally adding it in my in my project that is the only difference now if i want to run it same process right click on your project uh, and a file and run as java application and add to the cart will run like we have done before or oh, i think add to the cart it is opening the browser sunglasses everything it is working like we previously we have done okay or like if i open the if i open this an example insert demo same now if you look at look at it i have to make one change in my uh, page that is here the path is src test java the excel is coming in src test java so i will change src then the test and then java that's all we have to do that is user directory path it will automatically take rakesh maven but wherever it is then inside that there is a src then there is a test and then there is a java and then there is a package excel and the name of the file that's all we have to do and now if i like write and run it again to check whether it is working or not insert demo so just insert demo same example run as demo. insert it. you can to check it right click properties go to the location because this is separate and iron has been inserted okay so we'll keep up to here so hey, i will share these examples with you so i will share this page dot java because in this page dot java we have added the port for the connection i will share this student dot xlsx which we are using in our run up program and i will share insert and select demo example now on when you are creating on your system create this maven project only i will also share this pm.xml file with you do so you can open this pm.xml file in a notepad also right click and open with notepad or you know so this pm file you can also open uh, when uh, i will share it on your uh, email and you can also copy from here also dependencies it is not necessary that you have to copy from mvn repository.com like i have added more now in my project so you can also copy i will share this pm.xml file so you can also copy and paste in your uh, project from here okay and then you can create this directory structure in src test java core package excel package test cases package and then like previously you are downloading the program copy it and paste it so similarly you can download the program which i am sending you on the mail copy the page.java paste it inside the code copy the student.xls paste it inside the excel copy this and insert demo and select demo paste it inside the test cases and run it on your system if there is any problem in doing then 
we can discuss in our next class okay any problem